Hello, this is a tutorial that's just going to go over how you can check out, read your stats on Libsyn.com and just really get excited about the possibility of podcasting. So here's my dashboard here. As of February 5th, which is the date it is today, Entrepreneur on Fire already has 23,000 downloads in the first five days of the month. January was a big month, up massively from December's, and you can see all time I'm approaching 400,000 downloads. Incredible stuff, especially when you consider the fact that these numbers are lower than the actual listening numbers because Stitcher Radio, which has a ton of listeners, is not included in these stats because they actually stream the podcast when people go through Stitcher, so they're not actually quote-unquote downloading so it's not included in this download number. So it's just incredible where you can see the possibility of how many people you can reach. And I'll scroll down here to my display chart. September 19th was the day before I launched. September 20th, I had 20, 59, 53, 72. And then as you can see, I went through a little explosion as Entrepreneur on Fire hit the new and noteworthy and really started to pick up steam as I got 1,615 downloads on the 24th, 2,800 on the September 25th. So you can just see how the downloads have fared since then. Obviously, there's a little plateauing after the initial huge launch and kind of a regrouping down here. But since basically December 8th, Entrepreneur on Fire has been just continuing to have a very steady increase of downloads. You can see that my high just on January 23rd was 5,600 downloads in one day. And to be honest with you, I think I'm going to break that today because as we speak, it's 12.55 p.m. We're at 46.37 downloads. So... At just about 1 p.m., we're already so close to 5,000. And again, I think I am going to break this peak for yet another daily high. And this is just really exciting as you go down and you just see every single podcast number of, of how many times they're being downloaded. This is just in February. These numbers are in these numbers are in January. So you can see Tim Ferriss's podcast was downloaded over 4,000 times just in the month of January alone. You can see the breakdown here of the top countries, regions, the U.S. markets. Here's Apple Core Media, iTunes, and other. So as you can see, iTunes and Apple Core Media make up a huge part. Just like for me, it's U.S., other is second which I guess is just a bunch of other countries. Australia, Canada is a close second. China, United Kingdom. And these are the countries. So as you can see, yes, United States is a clear first. Actually, Canada is a second and Australia is a third. And then you can go into regions. So I can see that California is my biggest, followed by Texas, then New York. U.S. markets, L.A. specifically, user agents, Chrome 4000. That pretty much means that people that are going to my website, unbelievable. These are referrers, so I can see like where they're getting the most from. I actually need to probably do some more studying of this. This is some really cool information. My daily totals. Again, here's my high, 56.51. But as you can see today, I'm already at 46.52 and climbing. Weekly totals, monthly totals, just unbelievable things. And then here's this great demographic of the entire world. I really got to get somebody from Greenland to download. Man, that's just a sore thumb right there, this big white country. But Look at this. I sat in here and counted one day. It's over 140 countries. 
I don't even think Cuba's allowed to download podcasts, so that hurts. But pretty much just Central Africa, which obviously has their issues. The rest of the world is pretty much at on some level downloading Entrepreneur on Fire. So as you can see, this is just really exciting stuff. The reach with podcasts are just unbelievable. Entrepreneur on Fire is seeing a very consistent growth as more people are learning about it, more people are becoming fans. The same thing can happen and will happen with your podcast if you just continue to consistently produce great content. So if this doesn't get you excited about what podcasting can do for you and or your business, nothing will. So take this in, get excited, apply these principles, and just prepare to ignite.